Amanda, isn't it nice to be and a... And I'm Wooly! <laughs> Hi, I am... No, I don't want you here! Don't you get that? But Amanda, I'm your best friend! My best friend? All you do is get up. Hi, I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! Today we are working on a very special project! It's a project that will take a lot of patience. Patience is a very good quality to have. Patience is a very good quality to have. It means staying calm even when something or someone bothers you over and over again. Today, we are building a birdhouse, so more birds will come to the yard. Why are we out here before the sun is up? It's so dark outside. I can't wait to see what birds come to visit. What's your favorite kind of bird? I like those too! Let's get started! The first thing we have to do is cut the length of the... ...the wood to the right size. What tools should we use for that? How would we cut wood with that? Guess it's a good thing we're learning about patience today. What can we use to cut the wood? Right! We'll use the saw to cut the wood! <laughs> Um, Amanda, shouldn't we have some kind of supervision when we're using tools? Thanks for the tip, Willie. Now let's cut that wood. You have to have a lot of patience and make sure you measure everything before you... Wow, oh, that was hard work. Okay, now we have to put the pieces together with nails. What tool should we use for that? Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Brandon Am, Sir Billy. I guess you could use that, but there's a better tool. Look, I'm doing my best to have patience with you. What can we use to put the pieces together? That's right! We'll use the nail gun to attach the pieces! This project is taking a long time, and we have to do everything very carefully. What does it help to have? Patience! Come on, you've got this! That's right, patience! That's what I just said. Now it's time for some color. Let's paint the birdhouse. I love blue. Okay, now what tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? I think that would get pretty messy. Okay, I get it. The theme is... It doesn't mean you have to keep testing mine! What tool should we use to paint the birdhouse? Good job! This is going to be so pretty! <laughs> what the? Okay, this patient thing is going too far! Get him to go away! Ha <laughs> ha
Hillsdale's only radio station. Feeling a little under the weather? Well, I'm Dr. DJ Brandon AM here to let you know I've got the cure. And since it's President's Day, it's free of charge. Oh, what a mess! I don't even want to do this anymore! Forget it! Come on, Amanda. How about a little patience? <laughs> Let's get cleaned up and paint this birdhouse. Wow, that was great! Now we just need to be patient while we wait for some birds to show up and use the house. Look! They're so pretty, and their chirps are so quiet. So peaceful. activity that takes a lot of patience is hunting. Look at Miss Cat hunting the birds. She is being very patient. She's getting really close to the pretty birds, Amanda. Should we warn them? What do you think? Should we warn the birds or let Miss Cat keep going? Miss Cat and her family have to eat after all. Wow, Willie, great idea to warn the birds. <laughs> I didn't mean... And now nobody's using the birdhouse. We're going to have to sit here all day waiting for them to come back. That's going to take a lot of... Don't say it. Patience! <laughs> cataloging these? Since I caught a sigil on the swing set in the background of the Let's Play Pirates episode. If I'd have blinked, I'd have missed it. But here's the thing, there wasn't a single reference until the acquisition. This is the complete log of all the references I can make out. And most of them are subtle, but they're there, and lots of them. And usually paired with a message encouraging kids to uh, ignore their parents or, or do something harmful. Again, it's subtle. It's not something that's overtly dangerous, not in the context, and it's always under the guise of a new adventure. And you know this kid was also watching the show at the time of his disappearance. Mm, totally engrossed, his parents said, and then just gone. No police evidence? Not even footprints, trail and all? No, nothing. Like, he just vanished. That was over eight months ago. And now this other kid, Lauren, same story. So what's next? That's what we need to figure out. I mean, obviously we can't say anything. It's a kid's show, for Christ's sake. We'd sound insane. But it's not. These are, these are not good lessons. Every episode has some very harmful instructions, and there's a thread of content that runs across all of it. References to Belial, to Mara, to Iblis. Every world religion has a figure that tempts and manipulates and deceives. According to Kate's law, in the last 20 weeks of this kid show, there have been over 40 mentions of these entities. It's alarming. 
I want to bring Peter into this, if you two are comfortable. This is really his area of expertise. OK, let's get him to review the episodes that you've already recorded. I will cut the meeting recording. How old is she here? About five. I can't even imagine. They provided two original tapes of the show, and they say there are more. Over the next few nights, I'm going to start combing those for more coded language. The puzzles, the anagrams, they seem to connect it to the cult. And based on what we have, I'm convinced that this is the latest iteration of the one Caroline's family's been tracking for generations. The information we already have about the group ties it back to a religion that hasn't been practiced publicly in damn near. So we're saying that this production company has been around since the Middle Ages? Is that what we're saying? Either that, or they were. So why her specifically, and why here? I wish we could get our hands on that contract. I think it would be. We don't even have any conclusive evidence that would suggest that she's still alive. But she's in there, Peter. I know she is. Whatever information Kate is getting is fragmented at best. And that's if it is actually Rebecca. It has to be. So I... no, Caroline. We don't know. We have to hit the pause button on this. We can't do anything that would give away what we're doing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Are you in charge here? So what's the plan then, Peter? We just keep meeting and talking? What's our goal exactly? Look, I want to try to, Caroline, but we have to proceed with caution. We don't even know what state she's in. Or if we could even get to her. It's been almost 15 years. She might not even want out at this point. You don't know that. You don't either. Bottom line is, it's not safe. I mean, are we going to talk about David? Or are we just going to pretend I'm he's... I'm not waiting around. If they're coming for me, they're coming for me. She's made contact with Kate. But we don't even know that it's her. It is, but she's too volatile. That's the tricky part. We don't know where she's coming from. Okay, we've been working on this for 14 years. Please. This is a terrible idea. We should be lying low, not diving in. Right, you know what? This meeting's over. We're going to take a break, and we're all just going to come back when we can...